The Ultimate Pool Champions League, brought to you by Vinny.co.uk. Hey, very warm well, welcome back into the Ultimate Pool Studio for the final time tonight. All right, then, our final is set after 20 weeks of competition. 64 players started, only two remain Stevie Dempsey and Aaron Davies. What a brilliant performance from these two guys to make this final, Simon. Stevie's been absolutely superb throughout the competition. For you, I know he was your player of the first round. Aaron, though, but since he's entered the competition quite late as well, he's one of the later groups, he's been pretty faultless himself too. Yeah, he has been. And I've said it all for a while now, he's been the best player not to win a trophy so far with Ultimate Pool. His level is always high. What a semi-final he's just played there. With all the pressure on him, try and get himself in his first ever Ultimate Pool final. Um, very, very impressive. He took four from uh, six from the break in, I think, 11 frames of Paul. Uh, Phil for Kristoff a little bit. His break let him down. His break's been so strong all tournament, but it let him down. But Aaron, he just did what he had to do. He won his frames uh, and put Kristoff under huge pressure. All the credit to him. Yeah, absolutely. A super performance from Aaron Davies. But it was also a super performance from Stevie Dempsey. I mean, yes, yeah. he got through by six red shootout, but he did absolutely nothing wrong, really, against Tom Cousins. He was outstanding. Yeah, I think if we look at the, the standard of the four players in those semi-finals, I think we're probably looking at a mistake each across the four of them. Incredible standard, considering how much pressure is on them out there. And it, with everything else that's going on, the time pressure, the, the match pressure, unbelievable stuff from all four. Uh, Stevie was absolutely brilliant, but he's been absolutely brilliant in every single round in this tournament so far. One of them is going to win an ultimate pool trophy. For Stevie Dempsey, it would be his second. For Aaron Davies, it would be his maiden. Can he get over the line? It's time to find out as we head out into the arena for the ultimate pool Champions League final. Buzz out there as well. Stevie Dempsey prepares to get us underway. It will be he who has won the lag. He's going to break first. And even that sort of small victory may, may prove pretty important come the end of this opening set. Oh, he's got his cue ball perfect. How's the split? How's the ball? Nothing there. So Aaron Davies gets first opportunity. I wonder your thoughts, Simon, on who you'd rather be right now. Would you rather have been Stevie? You've got through the six red shoots out. You let the adrenaline go. You sort of reset. You go again for your final. Would you rather be Aaron Davies just flown through Christophe Lambert on the crest of a wave coming straight into the final? I think it's a fascinating point. I think I often wonder what way would I rather be. I think if you come through a very dramatic second match, then I think it's hard to sort of reset that quickly. I really do. But when you come through a match the way Aaron did, which was just solid, consistent, amazing ball, but without a huge amount of drama, no twists, he just was almost felt in control the whole way through. I think you just, you're just you happy you're just going again. You're just, you're just in rhythm and you're going again. But I also don't think Stevie's going to be you know hampered by having a break at all. I think getting your first match... One and having a nice little 45, 50 minutes off, uh, go and refresh, reset, a bit of a drink, calm down. I think is absolutely fine for Stevie. I think I don't think it's going to have any bearing on this match whatsoever. One thing I would say at the start of this match right now is that Aaron Davies said to me when I was chatting to him and when he was having a little knock on the table earlier on, he said, "How often do you see, you know, in the sports world?" players have a lot of good things go for them when it's your birthday he said and that to me as well yeah, before and uh you know and so far at the moment his opponents are struggling with their break okay small sample size here with stevie one break and it's dry but you know christoph had some problems in terms of he couldn't he was hitting the break great but couldn't find a ball maybe it's a big birthday present here for aaron davies I think he's straight enough on this ball that he can come just straight back and avoid the yellow and red by his hand now. Or maybe not. 
uses the yellow. What a shot that is. So clever. That is oh, that's brilliant. He's lined that up as well. You saw him come round to the bottom end of the table and just check the line of the screw shot. He's executed that. He's cued it perfectly. And now look how simple this run out is. If you don't get that right, and it's so easy to get that just off left or right, you could tie up the red, you could, you know, come on the underside of it and finish low and be on nothing. It, so that was just perfect. This is all about pace control, this shot. Simple pot, unmissable. She needs to get the line and the pace spot on. And that will do. Perfect. One nil. Aaron Davies, who picks up right where he left off in the semi-final against Christophe Lambert. Super, super start from the cyborg, who has had a a stellar, stellar start to his ultimate pool career. But as Simon said, yet to win an ultimate pool trophy. He has gone close. Final, semi-final rather of the. 2021 Champions League final of the World Championships in 2020 but still awaiting his first I feel like big senior title he's won two big junior titles he's won plenty of competitions let's not get that twisted he's wins competitions just about every weekend he's he's never off the cloth is Aaron Davies but in terms of big senior tournaments He's yet to really get his first one on the, on the board. And he'll be aggrieved that he's breaking like that and he's not getting chances in this final. Yeah, he hit them well. And they almost were beating each other to that top right-hand corner pocket, knocking each other out. He, every time I thought one was going to go in, it gets kicked out. and He's dry. Chance for Stevie to respond. Problems at the top end of the table. Yellows look easier to solve than reds. I think there's only one problem yellow, really, actually. I think the uh, three yellows at the top, more in the open, actually all go. The, it's just the one right on the top cushion. But reds is his choice. OK, reds at the top, they may all kind of go. They all have a pocket. It's just getting from one to the next one. See the yellow in between the, the ones at the top of the table, but actually sort of skirt around it yeah he might even I mean, if he's got an act if he can get to that yellow actually wouldn't be the worst place to be yeah if he sits either side of it he's pretty okay really it helps him if there's two together if the top if the one furthest into the table so the bottom one as we look on the on the main camera i was going to say if that goes it helps him but it didn't must have not gone because he's played that lovely little uh cannon there Lovely gap he hit there with a little tracer left hand side just to flick it out. Has to be very precise with his next few shots. He's on the one to the top right now. Again, just has to be precise. That's okay, but it's not ideal because he's hampered here. He's going to really struggle to get the cue ball out. He looks very straight on this red. He may have to take the one along the top cushion, which I'm sure was his original plan. But when you're hampered queuing like this, that pot is now very difficult. The easy pot is the uh, doesn't get an, um, get him any position, as you say. He can't get away. Oh, this is tricky. This is really tricky. Beeps are coming. There, that was missable. That was missable. Aaron Davies back to the table then. Even as the beeps were coming, he was still thinking about maybe switching. But it was the only way really to clear those. He had to take the difficult one. It was a fiddly finish. It really was. And I said he had to be precise. If he wasn't hampered Q in there, I think he's absolutely going to clear up. Oh, just 100 hampered. Made all the difference. Oh, that one. It's a little wobble from Aaron. But the problem for Stevie is that he's cleared the reds enough to actually make yellows a bit more comfortable. 
yes, the yellow on the left-hand side nearest the cue ball now is, is awkward, but actually you get right behind that. It's not the worst pot into the left centre pocket, especially if you're not doing anything with the cue ball, which is highly likely to be the, highly likely to be the case if Aaron works this through nicely. He hasn't, though. Yeah, that's a slight problem. Yeah, he wanted to be on the yellow on the top cushion. It did go to the top left-hand pocket, and he's not. Could he look to play that tricky yellow into the centre now? Yeah, very difficult. Very, very difficult pot from where he is now. Uh, he's just going to dab here. This itself needs a bit of care. Yeah, you have to feather the yellow, but quite thin. Yeah, better shot than it looks, that one. OK, he's left sight of a red at the bottom of the table, but very little room to actually get the snooker. Oh, has he left sight of it? Can Stevie hit the potting angle there? I saw him straight away have a very good look at it. It is tight to a potting angle, but I think he's on it. Some pot wind. Oh, he was close too. Aaron Davies gets away with one. And again, you just start to wonder, is the Aaron Davies name on the trophy? We can wonder here, as long as Stevie's not wandering out there. <laughs> Quite right. But maybe just a sign of a couple of little nerves out there. We see more sort of what you'd call errors in this final. We have what feels like the two semi-finals earlier together. This has been a little bit edgy so far. <laughs> oh, that's not ideal. I think he'll play the double now. He may have played for the double just the way that was coming down. Hard to actually see what he was playing on other than the double. And he's plumb on the double as well. Lovely shot. Hampered queuing this time for Aaron, but much easier than Stevie's. And you saw him straight away. Yeah, he's back there around now having a look. He's not going to overcomplicate this. He does have an angle where he could get the cue ball out, but he's just going to accept what he's got, which is to drop this in and take the yellow into the centre pocket. Played that really well. Perfect on the eight ball. Crunches home the eight ball. Aaron Davies continues his run in the Ultimate Pool Champions League. The Cyborg edging closer to his first Ultimate Pool title. You can see there by the 2021 ranking, worth pointing out the Champions League semi wasn't included in the ranking points that season. In a very successful year on the tour last season, without making massive strides, he was a sort of very consistent quarter-finalist. And if any, any point on this series when he can just chain together a couple of wins fairly consistently, you're a serious player. Yeah, currently provisionally on this year's form just outside the top 16 and 19th. But even if he was to lose this match, he's going to drop, drop up close, very close to the top 10. If he, was go, if he was to go on and win it, he'd be well inside the top 10. That's the difference. I mentioned earlier on for Stevie when it comes to the rankings, he is seventh at the moment. And if he wins it, I think he goes up to third in the rankings. Horrible layout here, the sort of layout you get when you're 2-0 down. And you're desperate for a frame. 
yellows is his choice. The yellow on the left-hand side is a real problem. Of course, the ones on the right still have a... There's one that's a problem, easier to solve, but still a problem. Oh, he's played a good shot there, I think. Yeah, I like his idea there. He was playing that with pace. He knew he was getting that yellow going down towards the bottom of the table and the left-hand side of the bottom of the table. He would have loved it to bounce maybe a roll or two more off, and then he could have used that to maybe help develop the, the other yellow that's really bad. Stevie Dempsey see is chasing him. Yeah, he is. If he can see, I mean, we've been fooled by the overhead here. If he can see the, enough of this yellow, he'll play the, play the yellow off the red. That opens up the pocket. And of course, because he's playing the yellow off the red, there'll be more angle on the shot and he can get the cue ball out. On the overhead, it doesn't look on, but I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, Beautiful. just like that. Lovely. Great vision from Stevie. I mean, it's almost as though he saw that really early, like he's, he's nudging balls into position to almost have this as an option. Brilliant shot. He's got that in the locker, Stevie Dempsey, it's worth pointing out. He's a very sort of consistent, almost a bit of a steady Eddie, really. Nothing super flashy about this game, no real sort of flamboyance. That's because he doesn't really want to be. When he's forced to, he's as good a shot maker as anyone. He's already made some amazing shots in this year's Champions League. I remember the, the cocked hat shot he played in his group stage. He's, he's got all the tricks of the trade, does the hammer. This has just been absolutely top draw, world-class visit to the table. This is such a good finish. Such a good finish. Brilliant from Stevie Dempsey, that. That's such quality. Such quality. That was a sort of real odds against finish there. And he's, he's pulled one out the fire. Yeah, the, the vision to, you know, the two two or three shots he played to sort of get down to the place where he could open up the ball was just a huge vision. He knew he was knocking a ball down there. OK, he may not have known exactly how he was going to use that ball, but once he got down there, he knew exactly what he was trying to do in terms of get the cue ball on the bottom cushion and then play the shot that he played. The vision there was absolutely amazing and obviously still had to execute it and it wasn't that easy to do that as well. It really was brilliant. Back on the break comes Aaron Davies. Five minutes remaining of this first set. We're about to enter the 15-second shot clock zone. Oh. Aaron's hitting them harder and harder and harder as the night goes on. I think there's some adrenaline flowing for Aaron. Looks at first glance, oh, to be fair, I think either colour set looks okay. Yellows have maybe one more problem, but... Yeah, reds, I mean, the one by the eight ball is a tricky ball in terms of it doesn't really go into the middle, but it goes comfortably long. And I think there is enough room to pot the eight ball, but he may well play a little nudge on it. second shot clock in play Aaron I think just forgetting about that just for a second that'll do he was actually I think trying to get into the yellow and eight ball there so that if he gets into the yellow then he stays on the red to the right center and the eight ball opens up it tells me this eight ball might be a little bit more tied up than it looks oh dear oh dear oh dear that's put him in a world of trouble had to avoid that little flick on the red Stevie Dempsey ready himself in the corner. 15 second shot clock here is influencing this frame. This must go. Doesn't look like it, does it? No. Maybe, I think I know he must have been coming back for the double when he's come back 
quite a way too far. Double to the corner, that is. Still took it on. Bit of a more in hope than expectation. And he's not tied that yellow up for Stevie Dempsey either. And Stevie now with a brilliant chance, a wonderful chance to level the scores going into the final frame of the set and it's on his break. Yeah, this is one where it's in, the clock management's interesting, actually. You absolutely cannot afford not to take the chance, so you don't want to rush, but you also want to leave yourself enough chance for a break clearance in the next frame. If it was Aaron to break, we'd be talking about how he wants to slow it down, make this take as long as possible. okay yeah I think he may have been trying to use the side cushion there and got into it a bit too much or he may have let it just slide a little bit too far to the left but he's okay as you say still no real problems helps him you can see him straight away looking does that yellow pass the eight ball into the right center if it does it's so simple if it doesn't he needs to play a little bit of a positional shot but he could screw through the gap there he goes half a pocket I think he's straight enough that he could just screw through the gap of the two or come off the bottom cushion and still get to the same area. Yeah, that's what he's doing. So he's going to have about 90 seconds to go and win the set. Of course, if he fails to do so, very good chance for either Aaron to win it or even for the set to be halved. Stevie Dempsey ties things up. Very little time left on the watch in this first set of the Champions League final. That's the reward you get for pulling out just an absolutely incredible clearance in frame three from Stevie. Get the reward in the next frame when Aaron had an opportunity there to all but win the set, really. <laughs> see Aaron. Maybe looking for some external forces to help out here. I think if I was Aaron sat in the chair right now, I think I'd be happy for a messy break rather than worrying about trying to get a dry break or an in-off break. Actually, just accept the draw and, and let's move on and, and win one set of ball to get yourself through. Of course, a dry break comes up here. Aaron will be jumping out of his chair trying to run around and clear up, but he won't be disappointed with a draw now. It's absolutely not dry. Steve, you got a shot. Yeah, and look at this layout. 24 remaining. Look at these yellows. Look at them. They are just begging to be cleared up here. Eight ball goes, bottom left-hand corner. Red's not in the way. All the yellows go. The one just on the break line just needs to be careful when playing on it. She was going to do straight away. Doesn't want this to go too far. Little bounce. Yeah, that's okay. Shade more off the cushion would have just made controlling the cue ball a little bit easier, but he's still in good shape. The yellow does pass the other yellow to the bottom right hand corner. And he's just come round, take the other yellow on the in the triangle area to the bottom left and they are there. That little nudge on the yellow, he didn't want. Yeah, he's a little bit awkward now. Might have to reroute. No, he is still going to take this one. He is, but what that means is he may not get as nicely behind the eight ball. And the cue ball is going to be running here. This is going to be so tight on time. I don't think he's going to have enough time here. Four seconds. He's going to miss the pot anyway. He wouldn't have had time to play the eight ball. Stevie Dempsey just runs out of time at the end of the first set. A dramatic finish. And we are all square. Both players take half a point and we move in to our second set of the night in the Ultimate Pool Champions League final. Well, don't you dare go anywhere.
Welcome back to the Ultimate Pool Champions League final. Take a look at that scoreboard. Half a point each as we get into the second set. Aaron Davies to break first. Makes a ball. We'll have first swing in this second set. Worth pointing out that the... Uh, it just feels like the odds of a six red shootout have just lengthened. We're going to have to see another tied set for it to be a six red shootout. It is now very, very simple for these two boys. You win the set, you win the title. Yeah, it's an interesting to, um, to really feel who was happier out of that first set as well. Because at one point Stevie was 2-0 down and he would have taken the draw all day long. But then he had a great chance there and probably just got his timings a little bit wrong. He's been so good at that side of the game for, well, the whole competition, but just mistimed that one. And Aaron had his opportunity to get himself 3-1 in front, didn't take it. So both of them should be annoyed they didn't win the set. But in some ways, it's easy just to go, OK, brace to four for the title. Forget about everything that's gone so far. That'll be the message, won't it? At yellow, he just cannoned. He wanted to cannon thicker. He wanted to knock it towards the right centre pocket. Oh, that's going to stay up. Grimace from Aaron Davies. Uh, tricky here for, for Stevie. The red that he's on one to the left centre he would love to leave as his connector to the eight ball he can't he just tried to cheat the pocket a little bit here Aaron just to keep, keep the control of the cue ball a little bit there wasn't quite enough room yeah we just saw as that replay was going on we saw the pot into the left centre pocket for Stevie and if he could have left that ball till last he could have then played a little bump into the yellow and an easy eight ball so now the eight ball becomes a problem ball for him He's dead straight here. Yeah, he was. Could only get the cue ball straight back. He may accept the eight ball as a double because that's easy to get to. Two at the top of the table, straight in on the one to the bottom right-hand corner, and you plumb on the double. If he wanted to take a risk there, he could have played a little cannon little clever cannon onto the yellow it would have been risky because he it wasn't natural but he would have stayed on the red to the top right hand corner I think it was a risk though especially when you're on the it might have been too close to the cushion to be honest I'm trying to be too clever easy to overplay this He's not got a lot of room. That yellow gets bigger and bigger. He's so good under pressure here, Stevie Dempsey. He just wants to hold this cue ball. Don't allow it to run. Oh, he's okay. He's fine. Oh, the way he's played that, I wonder if he can get through to the potting angle. If not, he's on the double. Oh, he's thinking about it. It's very tight. It really is very, very tight through to bottom angle here. Here's the double, and he punches it home. Good shot from Stevie Dempsey. The hammer goes 1-0 in front. It was very tight. And here he is. Stevie Dempsey was in last season's Champions League. Did have a very good season in Ultimate Pool, though. Got to a semi-final earlier on, I think, in the very first Pro Series weekend. Set himself up nice for a, for a decent finish to the season. In 2022, whilst he said to us earlier, he sort of struggled on the weekend events in the, in the Pro Series. He did win the Ultimate Pool Pro Series Grand Slam back near the start of the year now biggest prize in the ultimate pool calendar as of right now 
Oh, a little spring in the step for Stevie following that outcome. This is some break. This really is. Watch this cue ball, and you're thinking, how, how is it dry? Because he absolutely flushes it. And then, I mean, I'm watching that replay, and I still can't believe he hasn't potted the white. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm going to be very, very unlucky if he pots the white, but how's that not gone in? One bad ball, and not anymore. Opens it up, first shot. Stevie didn't get the uh, win in the first set, but he's riding the momentum now. That is three frames on the trot. And of course, he had that great chance to make it well, what would be now be four to win the first set, which he ran out of time on. Yeah, he almost got sent out and might just have to play himself back into the match a little bit. Yeah, he needs a good chance and he needs to take it. Otherwise, these matches can get away quickly. I mean, they are only races to four. But it's definitely Stevie Dempsey with a bounce in his step. Needs a good positional shot here. Like that. That's perfect. Absolutely with your hand perfect. And the reason I say you need a good positional shot, because if you go long or thin, you, you just makes things harder. So again, just try and hold the cue ball here. He's got a gap to land in for the Reds. be interesting, actually, to see whether he tries to get to the bottom cushion or just takes where he is and stays at the top. Yeah. I think even with the eight ball being where it is, and it wouldn't have been too tricky to get onto it from the top end of the table, the, the risk was worth it to come down the table because he had a nice big line to hit come down the table because now it's it's very simple yeah, to drop it. Yeah, a lot Perfect. of players may have played that one the other way, but I like the way Stevie went about that. Really nice from Stevie Dempsey. 2-0 in front in the second and final set of this Champions League final. Just an interesting topic really on, on roots there, Simon. You mentioned a few players would have played it the other way. I think it's almost the way that Stevie's thinking there is when do I want to play my difficult shot? I don't want my shot onto the eight ball to be the difficult one. I don't want my eight ball to be potentially the difficult one. If you've got a half-decent line, you've got a chance of playing it, you back yourself and, and you play it early. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the shot he played was such a nice wide-open line. That was a far easier shot than positional shot than it would have been if he'd left the cue ball at the top of the table and had to play the positional shot onto the eight ball, which I still would have expected him to get, but it's... He went about it in a way that was the most achievable and the most controllable. Aaron needs a ball. If he goes dry here, he's going to scream. Oh, no. Well, I know they used to call him Screech. He might be sat in his chair doing exactly that right now. Yeah, this match has turned on its head. Oh, that's so tough. Aaron won the first two frames. It's been a Stevie Dempsey show ever since. It's not an absolute wide open chance though here for Stevie. There is a small amount of hope for Aaron to get back to the table in this frame. Eight ball is in a very tricky spot, but this is actually quite similar to the first clearance he made in this uh, set where he left the eight ball where it is and played the double. I think I'm, I'm expecting him to do the same thing again. Especially, it feels like there's been quite a lot of doubles already in this night. There's been a few kick shots, a few doubles. Seems that everyone's pretty much got the spring of the cushions absolutely bob on. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any reason for Stevie to fear it, if that makes sense. No, absolutely. The only slight difference between this one and the one in the first frame of the set is the fact that he's not absolutely certain to finish perfect on the double. It's highly unlikely he wouldn't because of the reds at the bottom of the table. He's not going to be moving the cue ball far. But the reason I don't like the 
the breakout shot is because the two yellows guarding it mean that if you get the contact, you're going to hit the yellow rather than the eight ball more likely than not. And it's not guaranteed to come out and then you could land nowhere. So I think the controllable way, leave the double back yourself to make it. Yeah, agreed. The yellow on the right-hand side that looks like it might be in the way for the double is, is not involved at all. You can see that on the overhead. That yellow won't play a part. It is a very open shot. Could almost go left, right, left if he wanted to on these reds, but he is going to yeah. try and use the same pocket all three times. The reason for being that being is he, he was straight on the top red of the three there, and it, it, if the red below it had an uh, open pocket to the right, you just roll it through, and then it's sort of a really simple dot to dot, but it wasn't an open pocket. It may, I think it probably did slide in, but off the far jaw, so he's uh, played the middle one, and he's come up a little bit short, so he's going to have to reroute once again no problems to do that though now it's interesting he's mm. got looks to be the perfect angle now he's going to play for the double and if he had the perfect angle to screw back into the the eight ball he may have been tempted but maybe not maybe he's just if he's just off straight the wrong way it's actually a little tricky to get on the double i think he is I think the actual line, if he follows through, is actually taking him towards the bottom cushion rather than away. Let's play a really good shot here. He's going to really force it. Yeah, he is just off straight. He's really force this. Yeah, it's a well played shot. He's far enough up for the double. So then, double it is for Stevie Dempsey. Oh, he knew. He knew straight away. As soon as he played that shot, you heard the noise from the hammer. He didn't quite get the line perfect. Jaws the double, and Aaron Davies has a route back into this final. Eight minutes left. How close can that be? Aaron wanted to get right the way across to the left-hand side or pull up short. He's in between. He wanted to take the one to the bottom left first, just to clear the path of the one he's nearest to. Taking the plan. Played that well. How's what? it come out? Once again, he was trying to get on the one nearest the bottom left-hand corner pocket, and I'm not sure if he has. He hasn't. Going on body language. He's OK, though. Can I think just run this one through to be able to get there as ever when you've got no other colour set in your way you've almost got a limited licence really but he's making a little bit of a meal of this I can screw back instead just got this one straight down the line now yeah but once again the difference it makes if he's actually on the cushion because it just <laughs> makes it easier to get the cue ball out onto the next one at the bottom of the table because if he takes this in now he's going to be on the cushion playing the one at the bottom of the table if he was on the cushion now he gets himself far enough out that actually it becomes really really simple you can see Stevie Dempsey there I think trying to work out what Aaron's trying to play oh in the end he tries to screw into the cushion and, and bump the one above it out and arcs around it he may play the same shot again screw back into the cushion and a little bump into the top of the two yellows this time he gets it yeah that's perfect but he has tried to get onto this ball every single shot in this visit <laughs> and he is finally on it yeah if at first you don't succeed and all that He's overrun this one as well. Don't know if he can just drop this in now. He's come back a good roll of the cue ball too far. I'm going to have to use the bottom cushion and jack the cue up. 
good shot. Really good shot there. Oh, he made, as I say, a bit of a meal of that clearance, Aaron Davies. But for the first time in a little while, Aaron Davies wins a frame. You can forgive him for being a little bit of a, a little bit relieved after that because and a little bit loose with the cue ball as well because he's not really had a huge amount of table time in the last sort of five frames. Yeah, he needed that. He really needed it. He needed some help from Stevie and Stevie's given it to him with that missed double. That will be playing on his mind right now. 3-0, 2-1. Such a huge difference. Look how much time's on the clock now. Five minutes, 19. So if Stevie had made that, it would have been seven minutes or so and 3-0 ahead and his break. Now he's got to get back to work. It's still in his hands, though. He'll still be thinking, if I can make a ball here and make a break clearance, I'm still in control. 15 second shot clock about to be in play. We will go to zero. Oh, do you see that little, little extra nudge on the cue ball there? I think just kept it out of the middle pocket. This is going very close to the centre pocket. Again, it would be unlucky because he hits the perfect break. But that, see that little oh, feather? Oh, wow. wow. What a spot. Yeah, yeah that's, you're absolutely uh, right. That's incredible. Yellow's the choice. Stevie keeps his extension. That could be important. He's got a couple of good shots to play on these yellows here. Yeah, it's not a big, uh, big split at all. He's got an angle now. He could play into the red and yellow, I think, together. I think he's just got enough angle to do that. He's got certainly got enough angle to sort of uh, create the angle. He's going to leave it. He would love to have come a roll less, unless it, I mean, unless I'm being fooled by the overhead we have in the commentary box. If he can just top through and just skim off the yellow, it's perfect. Oh, that's not, though. Yeah, he wanted to hit, like, just on the top side of it, so it sort of, it knocks it left and he stays on the one into the right centre. Is he still on the one to the right centre? He might have to play it off the red. Some shot this if he can make it. Oh, it went long. We could get it long. Bang. Huge difference. Oh, and it looks likely now. With three and a half minutes to go, a 3-1 lead is a big lead. You still got a little bit of a shot to play here, mind. Still got a shot to play. That's okay. A little lucky. He wanted to slide by, but he's fine. Yeah, he's okay. This is a big shot, though. It's there. Oh, he's pumped up his R Stevie. Absolutely pumped. And now he's waiting for that clock to run down, and quite rightly so as well use every single second. What a shot that was. See what it means to the hammer. He's not there yet, but he's almost there. 3-1 leads. Two and a half, 2.45 I think was left on the match clock. Not long. Aaron needs to find two frames minimum. If he finds two without reply, it's six red shootout time for the Champions League title. That was some bottle there from Stevie. That really was. He made a big error in the previous frame, not making the double, which would have put him 3-0 in front. And that was a tricky clearance. And he wasn't in a nice position a couple shots in. And then, of course, that one down the cushion at the end, that wasn't easy. And he showed his emotion once when, when that went in. He knows the difference that made. 232. Aaron Davies needs two frames. He's got the break. Needs a ball. He's got a ball. Eight balls awkward. You got a shift, Aaron. Top right, the table's a little bit tricky as well. 
That eight ball has gone to the same area of the table on all three of Aaron's breaks because it is once again in a horrible position on the left-hand side just below the middle pocket. I'm not even sure you can double it. I don't, the yellow's in the way for the double this time. This is harder than Stevie had. And look at the red at the top of the table as well. Aaron knows he's got to go, but two massive problems already. OK, now the double's on, which helps. But look at the, the other red then gets tied up. Oh, Aaron is really reaching here. He can, I think, go into the top right of the table off this shot, but he's going to be on a little bit. This is impossible. You cannot pop this and get on that next red. You just can't do it. Oh, look how much side he's played that with. That's incredible to get that low down the table. He needed one more roll and he'd have been able to play this one off the yellow. What he may he... Oh, he can still see it. This may still go, you know. What a shot, Aaron. Is he on the eight ball? Can he get the thin, 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 thin cut? Can he even see it? How good were those last two shots? Absolutely incredible. Kick shot then to stay in the Champions League. It's wide. And Stevie Dempsey knows he just has to run down the home straight and see this one through. Aaron Davies nearly finding a miracle clearance, and he is so close to doing it. If he clears up there, that is the best last three balls I'd have ever seen. To, to be able to get the cue ball that far down the table was unreal. And then the shot he played to make it, just breathtaking it deserved the eight ball to go in Stevie Dempsey is going to do it Aaron Davies goes one step further than last year but is going to fall at the last in the ultimate pool Champions League Stevie Dempsey has done it the hard way in this tournament the amount of brilliant players that have fallen in his wake the Hammer is an ultimate pool champion once again in the Champions League. It's Stevie Dempsey who will lift the trophy. Sensational performance from Stevie. For the second time, he's an ultimate pool champion. Aaron Davies left to Rue. An unbelievable ending. All respect between these two great players. Do stay with us. The presentations are next, where we will hear from both and crown our vineyard.co.uk Ultimate Pool Champions League champion. All right then, folks, for the final time this season, welcome back into the arena on the Ultimate Pool Champions League. A magnificent tournament like this deserved a brilliant ending, and these two players certainly provided it. Let's hear it inside the arena for Stevie Dempsey and Aaron Davies. A super, super final. He went all the way to the semis last year. He's gone one better this year as well. A super player for which this won't be his last final. Aaron Davies, everyone. Aaron, really well played there. I mean, you know this Monday night mixer better than most at, at this point. It's, uh, it's sometimes kind to you, it's sometimes not. Just fell on the other side of it tonight. In the end, like looking back, I think there was, I've made probably one mistake in each set. Um, obviously, if I can just play a perfect set in one of them, I, I'm at least on a shootout. But yeah, um, obviously, I'm going to look back at them two mistakes. But when you're playing under this pressure and this shot clock, you, you know, you're going to make mistakes, really. So. It's probably not as bad as I think. With that being said, how nearly did you pull out the clearance of all clearances at the end there? That was nearly one of the best finishes we've ever seen. I know, after a couple of shots, I thought, well, that's, it's gone now. And then as I've opened this ball up down here, I'm thinking, oh, well, hold on, this, this goes off the ball in the middle, so if I can just get round there. And I managed to do it, and I just wanted a shot on the black, and it didn't happen, did it? So close, but I'm sure you'll be back next year. Congratulations on a great tournament, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Aaron Davies, everyone. Well, for the second time, the Irishman is an ultimate pool champion. Stevie Dempsey doubles up. Grand Slam champion, Champions League champion. Stevie Dempsey, everyone.
Stevie, congratulations, mate. You've had to do it the real hard way in this tournament. You've knocked out a who's who of, of eight ball greats. You've done some by six red shootout. You've had two, in fact, in the, in the tournament. It's been some run, mate, and here you are at the end of the champion. Yeah, obviously delighted with the win. Um, I think uh, I sort of let the first set get away from me, but at the same time, I was kind of happy to get the scrape the draw after being 2 0 down. I uh, just did really manage to clock well on that one and then in the second set played really well, broke really well. I think that's probably what won me the match in the end. My break was, was flying, I was getting all the chances and as Aaron said, he only really made one or two mistakes. I probably made two or three. Um, I missed the double on that eight ball to go 3-0 up and I was like, I think that might cost me. But then in the next frame I got a huge break and managed to get a, a good pressure yellow down here and I pretty much thought it was over after that to be honest even though as you said Aaron nearly pulled out a mental finish to go 3-2 but uh, yeah delighted to get over the, way, the, the line in the end. It's, it's been some season for you I know you, you were telling us earlier you've maybe struggled a little bit on the weekends to, to get a good run going but two tournament wins in one season is absolutely phenomenal mate. Yeah I, I think by anyone's standards getting two wins on, with, with the standard on the tour is, is brilliant and um, yeah and I just keep running into tough uh, matches at the, on the series weekends. But look, if you're winning two tours or two ranking events a season with this field, you're going to be delighted. I'm sure you are. Time to bring in the Ultimate Pool Chief Executive, Lee Kendall, to make the presentation. Stevie Dempsey is your 2022 Champions League champion. Wow, what a stunning performance from Stevie Dempsey. It's time to close our 2022 Champions League season. We return next week with the Pairs Cup. Plenty more on the way from Ultimate Pool on your Monday nights. We're not going anywhere.